Right. Well, I think that's a very good concern um, to address. So the first thing I would say is if you have a lot of concerns about your child in terms of um, speech or uh, other things that you think maybe aren't quite where your child should be, I would encourage you first to talk to your child's pediatrician um, because they that would be the starting place, I would say. Um, the other thing that I would let you know about is Child Find. In Frederick County, Child Find is a wonderful resource for um, parents with chil young children, um, even as young as two and three, um, who might need, maybe they're a little delayed in, in developing their speech or other kinds of things. And so, um, in fact, for my son, I went to the pediatrician with him and uh, the pedi his pediatrician said, so how much of what your son says do outsiders outside of your family understand? And I thought about it. I thought maybe 10%. And the pediatrician said, okay, I'm going to introduce you to somebody at Child Find. And so honestly, by the time I was able to get an appointment and everything got situated, his older sister had gone to school who had been talking for him and he did just fine. So that when we did have our appointment, they said, no, I think he's right where he needs to be. So oftentimes, you know, it's, it's something that we as parents are very worried about and actually they just needed a little bit more time or a different, you know, setting or situation. So those would be things I would say if your child is two, three, four years old and you have some concerns, I would start with your mm -hmm. child's pediatrician and then you might look into child find as a resource. But if your child is coming into to kindergarten, I would encourage you to share those concerns with your child's teacher. Certainly not at open house when there are a bunch of other parents around or back to school night, but set up an appointment and, and talk to your child's teacher because um, more than likely, unless you're a teacher yourself as a parent, that child, your child's teacher will have ha had seen many, many other children would have a good idea whether this is, um, within the normal range of development or not. Um, there are also, as you mentioned, other um, uh, specialists that work in the schools. For example, a speech pathologist. Um, there are counselors um, that can also help. So if the teacher is feeling like we probably need to just have someone monitor your child's speech, for example, I'm going to invite the speech pathologist in to observe, then, then the teacher can go from there. Um, but I would encourage you to share those things. I know many schools have a parent form that they fill out at the beginning of the year, Walkersville does. And on that form, we ask, are there things you're concerned about with your child? Um, whether it's, um, you know, a speech related or a learning disability or, um, or something else. So I would share that as early as possible. Um, with your child's teacher so that you can work together to, to help your 